Good morning, ESM. Today is National Be Bald and Be Free Day, so we decided to talk about our favorite bald people. And pick our five against each other in the tournament, judged by our very own Mr. McSweeney. Now on to news and announcements. A man convicted of attempting to smuggle cocaine from Puerto Rico into central New York using the United States Postal Service was sentenced yesterday to serve time in federal prison. Alexander Carascara Rosado, Ros Rosado, 31 of Syracuse, was sentenced to 70 months in prison along with five years of supervised release. Carascara was under surveillance under surveillance when law enforcement intercepted three packages with approximately two kilograms of cocaine inside. Carascara pre pled guilty t to possessing with intent to distribute six kilograms of cocaine found in his car and house. New footage has been released from the January 6th insurrection, showing lawmakers fleeing the U.S. Capitol and heading to a nearby military base. This footage was aired by the January 6th committee during its public hearing on Thursday. Captured by Alexandra Pelosi, she committed the footage she provided the footage to the committee to use. The announcement was made on Tuesday, which announced via a company-wide memo from Chairman Channing Doogee and revealed to staff that Warner Brothers Animation and Cartoon Network Studios will be merged in order to consolidate their animation division. Warner Bros. have stated that this is a strategic realignment of the company. However, so far Warner Brothers have fired over 80 Cartoon Network employees. This ha has people wondering what will happen to a lot of Cartoon Network sh original shows and Adult Swim. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America. And to the republic for which it stands. One nation under God. Indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. The House Office will be holding physicals on Tuesday, October 18th. Interested students must sign up by this Friday, October 14th in the Health Office. This is a great opportunity to get your physical for sports or working papers. There will be a Sources of Strength peer leader meeting on Tuesday, October 18th, 2022 in the large cafeteria from 3.30 to 4.10. If you are a peer leader, you must attend this meeting in preparation for the peer leader training on Thursday, October 20th at Arrowhead Lodge. If you have not already done so, please get your permission slip for the training to Miss Montroy in the Counseling Center as soon as possible. Anyone interested in playing varsity or JV girls basketball this winter, there will be a meeting on Tuesday, October 18th at 3.30 in Mr. Keogh's room. So, to explain our contest, we have a total of five rounds to pick our favorite bald figures. Let's get started. All right. All round right. One. Who are you picking? Hold up. Um, I would say my first choice, Pitbull. Pitbull? Oh my gosh. Yeah. Why? Because he's just the best. Like, he can sing. Uh-huh. And he, he wears a tuxedo. I mean, yeah, I guess so. Like, why not? Okay. What's yours? Well, it might be controversial to put this at round one, but I'm going to say Mr. Clean. That's a good one. And... You could always have a man that cleans. Exactly. He's very shiny and very, like, sanitary. Oh, yeah. All right, what's round two? Um, my dad. <sighs> you know, it was funny. He was going to be my second round pick. Really? Yeah. Well, now I he's mine. Now, now I have to switch it. Oh, well. Se second round, second round. Vin Diesel. That's a good one. <sighs> Easy. What's your third um, round? This is hard. <laughs> I will have to say, um, maybe Voldemort for me. Wow. Voldemort? Really? Yeah. Okay. Is that how you spell Voldemort? You know, it's a good, it's a, Vol oh, wait. Voldemort? Well, I think it, there's an E in yeah, there. Yeah, it's all right. It's all right. Okay. Uh, all right. My third round pick, The Rock. It's a strong one, quite literally. The Johnson himself. Um, I'm going to go with Samuel L. Jackson. For the fourth? Really? Are you judging me? Nothing. You're just stealing my answers. Think, well, because I'm just that good. Well, that's... Okay. Just cool. this, this J means Jackson. Yeah, because you can't write it all. Yeah. Fourth round pick. McSweeney himself. That was on my list. Yeah. Well, yeah I'm feeling that might be a turning point. I don't know if that's how you spell his name, but I'm going to go and do it anyway. Just um, fifth round. Don't have, I, 
The last one I'd say is the best, not the best one, but like, okay, is okay. Patrick Stewart. Patrick Stewart? Yeah, I love from, Patrick Stewart. From the X-Men? Or from like, what is it, Star Trek? Eh. Sorry. Stewart. What's your last right. one? I don't know if he's actually bald. <laughs> Yeah, no, a lot I, of these people I, I had were like shaved heads. Yeah, I feel, I feel like I feel like this guy's not bald, but I'm gonna say the Pope. <laughs> oh God, quite literally. He literally has a he has like a hat on all the time, right? Or yeah, like it's a, a cool little, hat. It is. I, I just like don't it. know if he's bald. I'm gonna say he's bald, so he's on the list. All right. Okay. More after <laughs> more after weather. of a chance of rain. Um, and Sunday will start to cool down again with a high of 58 and a low of 44. I'm ill of the weather. So we have Mr. McSweeney here to right. judge our picks to see who's better in his opinion. All right, let's go to round one. I gotta say, like, like being in the back when you guys were like doing the picks, I'm like, yeah. I thought this could be pretty, pretty straightforward. I'm like, this is this is actually been kind of challenging. Yeah. Like, yeah. To try to figure out like which one, especially when it's just like who's your favorite, you know, not like I have like a rubrics or a criteria. So all right, so number one. Number one. Um, Mr. Clean and Pitbull. I say Pitbull. It's the better choice. I mean, I'm not above bribery, I'm just going to say. Yeah, but uh, I, mean, I could throw you like some, some of a five I, if you want. I'm going to have to go with Mr. Clean, though. I mean, only because of the fact that, like, man, if he would come over and clean my house, I would be, that would be awesome. And he's, you That's know, he's... Person. He's he's good at that. That's what, yeah. what he you does. You just bumped yourself down on my favorite teachers list. Wow! Wow! wow. wow. That's Harsh. a that's a point for me. All right. All right. All let's right. Go, let's go to round two. Let's see, Mr. Andrews or Vin Diesel. All right. Uh, I'm gonna have to go with Mr. Andrews. He's yeah. A, he's a pretty rocket teacher. He's an awesome guy. He's a great bald guy. He's a great bald guy. He is. He is. Uh, wow. Vin Diesel's awesome. I mean, he's. But he's muscular. He, he is. is. He really is. He might hurt me for picking and your he dad can drive instead. Cars. But you know. I mean, yeah. All, All right. right. The Rock or Voldemort? The Voldemort. Uh, I'm gonna like. I'm gonna have to go with The Rock. I mean, Voldemort doesn't have a nose. He's awful. He's a nasty. But uh, he can do like person. magic. Who cares? He's black <laughs> I know, magic. I feel like strength-wise, you know, Voldemort would. I don't win know. That. I don't he's know. Like, no way. No way. Have you seen The Rock? No way. And plus, like, you got like. If Voldemort can go bring way. himself back from death. Okay, but then you have The Rock, who's Maui, you know, from so? Luana. So Maui would, like, annihilate Voldemort, I'm thinking. That's yeah. where I'm going with. All right. Round four. Round four. Yourself or Samuel J. Mace Windu. All the way. Yeah. Samuel Jackson. Wow. wow. I'm sorry. Purple and lightsaber. You didn't even spell my name right. I didn't. There's an E in there, right? <laughs> <laughs> There's an E in there. <laughs> I, can't, I can't respect I f- that. F- All right, so it's a tie now. It huh? is a tie. This is the uh, this is the breaker. The Pope or Patrick Stewart? Yeah. Uh, oh, this is. Uh, the Pope's like a really cool dude. I, I gotta say, he's this one has been a much more yeah. kind of. I think open to a lot of changes that have needed to happen in a while, but <laughs> well, yeah. Patrick Stewart, I don't have any I fight know. For him. Patrick Stewart. Patrick Stewart is amazing. I like. I idolize the man yeah. with his acting and stuff. He is. Uh, I gotta go with Patrick Stewart. Wow. Oh yeah. I do. I do. 
Sorry, my friend. That is that is what. Does that mean I win? That means you that win. Means oh my gosh! Win. It means Does I win. Does that mean I'm back up a little bit? Maybe you bumped yourself up. All right, all right. There we go. Just a, a, tiny a spot, bit. though. All right. all right. Well, let's see about talking about bumping up in the ratings and stuff. Why don't we see what's going on with sports? Yeah. Two teams, two schools, same outcome on the way around. League champions. The undefeated girls soccer team beat JD last night to win the league title and improve to a 16-0 record. They beat JD 2-0. Leah Rem led the team with two goals. Assists came from Angelina Polcaro and Leah Shavesty. The boys soccer team beat JD last night 2-0 to clinch the league title and had a record of 14-2 on the year. Joel Alvarez scored both goals. Their only losses on the season were to two AA schools. In the MLB, Jordan Alvarez powers the Astros again to take a 2-0 lead in the ALDS against the Mariners in a 4-2 win. In upcoming games, the Syracuse football team welcomes the 15th-ranked North Carolina State Wolfpack to the Dome in a top-20 matchup on Saturday. The field hockey team has their senior night against Cortland at 6.30. The theme is whiteout. The boys' volleyball team plays home against Liverpool at 6.30 tomorrow, actually tonight. Tomorrow, the boys' football team has a game at Watertown at 12, and the gymnastics team has a meet at 5.30 at Blaze Gymnastics. And I'm Tanner with your sports. I can't believe I lost. <laughs> All right. Thank you for watching. From Chris, me, and everyone here at The Morning Show, have a wonderful day. This is devastating. <laughs> I can't believe this.